if you're having a problem with the disc being recognized on your PS4 and perhaps you may have dropped your PS4, this could quite quite possibly be the issue you're experiencing now. I, I may have gotten lucky. This could have been a fluke, but out of all the videos that I looked at on YouTube, um, all of them, you know, talk about possible bent frames, which can happen if something falls on top. Um, this frame itself could be bent. It was slightly bent, but nothing crazy. So I kind of straightened it out. You could see the arms are moving freely. Everything seems like it's working mechanically as it should. But I'm going to show you what happened with mine. If I open this, it's, it was this little disc in here was actually out of this carrier and was on the, uh, I guess, the lens reader there. So if I open the arms from underneath and then move this here, the cradle will kind of pop up and this disc can come out real easily. Okay. And then <clears throat> this is how it was. And that's magnetic. It'll stick right on there. And to me, never opening a PS4 before, I didn't realize that that wasn't supposed to be uh, on this part, but it was supposed to be in the carrier. So I realized after watching a couple of videos that that was not there. And I thought maybe I just had a different version, but then I just realized that, no, yeah, that's actually supposed to be in here. So again, if you move the arms out, pivot this up, slide it in and then you can pivot this back down and release the arms and everything's working as it should and then now this is where it's supposed to be and I actually be careful because I don't think I got that in both of these tangs so make sure to get because it's grooved like a little pulley make sure to get that in there the way it should be move that back down and now that's where it should be Go ahead and reinstall and test it, and hopefully that fixes a problem for you. For me, what was happening is I put the disc in, I'd hear it click a couple times and just kind of like chatter, um, and then it just would never read the disc, and the disc would never spin either. And then also I, I tried it with the system apart the way you see it, and I saw a red light flashing like four times. I don't know if that's just the laser or if that was some sort of error code, uh, but at any rate, that fixed the problem for me. So hopefully it does for you.